Now you might be thinking, well, how do I resist the devil when I hardly have an ounce of strength left to stand up any longer? Here's the key. You never are supposed to stand in your own strength. God sent Jesus so that we could stand firm in Christ, in His righteousness, in His strength, not any ability of our own. In fact, we get in deep spiritual trouble when we try to be independent of God. We become self-deceived thinking we're something more than we are. That's dangerous. Realize this very important fact. You're not alone. Everyone feels like giving up at some point in life. Nobody is immune from that temptation. No one. Everyone experiences discouragement, sadness, depression, disappointment, and hopelessness. Look at what Jesus, the Son of God, was feeling at a prayer meeting in the Garden of Gethsemane just before he was about to go to the cross. Look at Jesus, Matthew 26, verses 37 and 38. And taking with him, that's Jesus, he took with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee, and he began to show grief and distress of mind and was deeply depressed. Then Jesus said to them, my soul is very sad and deeply grieved so that I am almost dying of sorrow. Stay here and keep awake and keep watch with me. You want to talk about sorrow, sadness, grief, all stacked like a ton of bricks on the heart of Jesus? Even in his prayers that night, we hear him say, Father, if there's any other way, let this cup pass away from me, but not my will, but your will be done. Jesus knew what it was like to be tempted with the voice of sadness, depression, sorrow, justification to take the easy road, to give up and just call it done. 